Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a Swiss whisk whiskey on my Swiss whiskey on my cask. And it's the Centis Dreifaltigkeit. Uh, Dreifaltigkeit is German or Swiss for um, Trinity or yeah, Holy Trinity. So it, it's a bit of a reference to Christianity, but um, these these unchained whiskies uh, are usually really really good single cask bottlings and this is actually a whiskey.de single cask exclusive so you don't get the single cask anywhere else but whiskey.de online shop in germany we only send to germany and austria and um yeah but there are a lot of unchained scents out there and they do come from the Locher uh, distillery, or Brauerei Locher, the brewery. And there's a video online here on, on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to know more about the distillery, have a look at it. It's uh, a beautiful story and beautiful background about the distillery. And basically, this is a peated version, or not the peated version, a smoked version. And let me read that from a high... Um, High Highland uh, peat, apple, birch, and uh, oak um, shavings. Uh, yeah, lit and smoked, uh, smoked over these uh, these fuels. Yeah, so we have a bit of a peat influence and some birch, some apple, and uh, oak wood uh, influence in this smoke. So it should really taste something different and um, mature main maturation if you watch the distillery video you already know they do a lot of beer cask maturation this is an exclusive beer cask maturation yeah and oh, is there anything else to to say about it? its cask strength oh do i do any oh, 40 64.8 percent water i have to excuse myself and get myself a little water Yeah, sixty-four percent ABV. This is this is a bit too rough for me. And yeah, I've had a few of the of the Centis malts. They were good Centis malts, and what I do love about them is their coloring. And that's natural color. There is no added coloring in there. And yeah, in terms of cost wise, this one is around 70 and the other unchained are also in that range. There might be some more costly and some less costly, but around that area. And from that distance, you can already smell that has some muffy, peaty, smoky feel to it. Oh, this is a ham and chimney, burned out chimney. Oh, there's a lot of smoke going on, but uh, a very damp smoke, a very mature smoke. A little bit of oakiness going on, a little bit of a, a dark spiciness going on. That reminds me of something I can't quite put my finger on. Oh, these are, yeah. This this smells like a burnt out chimney. Yeah, that really reminds me of a burnt out chimney. Mm, but not long ago. A little bit of a wet coal smell. Ah, uh, that that's like the smell when you when you have a, a festival with a with a a bonfire and and there was a, a short rain during the night and you crawl out of your tent and you come to the fire that's just burned out and then you smell like wet 
coal and wet ash. And that's what it smells like. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, all this talking about the smoke <laughs> distracted me a little bit. Strong, strong smoke. A little bit of a all that that burnt out chimney and burnt out bone fire with water on it hmm, combined with a little bit of a berry touch to it like uh like cherries but very dark cherries and, and very subtle not not strong so the the smokiness and the roundness is really what carries this whiskey and it's 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 incredible it's it's lovely but it's very very far away from what we do know as the normal single malt character from a scotch so this is really a different character yeah the locha uh, the the centis brand and the locha brewery they've really put their 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 own mark on the taste of whiskey Mm. Ooh, mm, didn't didn't dilute it a lot. Mm. Oh, that just made it stronger in every conceivable way. Mm. More smoke, a little bit more mm, sweetness, a bit more fruits, oak, but still very very round. It's a very round choice. If if they say they matured it for seven years, it's just amazing so their quality of of cast must be yeah, really good mm -hmm. i would have expected more influence of a beer malty character mm -hmm. ah, very smoky light but mm, i've killed it added too much water it's just a this one has a, a, a fine line of having too much water it just if you have it neat and you have it with little water you just feel that intensity and everything and oh, it's just a bit it came a bit a bit boring and it still smells amazing but hmm now it's very, very round in taste and mm, the intensity is just a bit less. So yeah, it can get some water in it, but I wouldn't bring it down to 40%. I'm, I think I'm even less than 40%. So don't bring it down too much, otherwise you'll kill it. Yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. If you ever get your hands on a Santis smoked whiskey with beer cask finish, I can highly recommend it. It's definitely an unusual, incredible and positive experience. I would say everybody who doesn't hate the smoke, this is a, a, a nice um, addition to your flavor palette to experience. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up and see you next time. <music>